What's up guys, it's Covert Code here, and in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a game on Roblox. Now, to understand how to make a game, you need to know what actually makes up a game. And this can be split up into four main categories. We have scripting, also known as coding. We also have building and 3D modeling. We have UI design and graphics design and marketing. Let's start with scripting slash coding, okay? So scripting or coding, I'm just gonna refer to it as scripting from now on, um, is essentially what brings your game to life. You can have the most beautiful game in the world, but it will just be a showcase or just a, you know, just a world without scripting. If you want to make a car move, or if you want to make guns, or even if you want to, uh, I don't know, make anything like a health bar leveling system or anything like that, you need scripting. And this can be intimidating to most because it's literally like learning a new language. So Roblox uses Loa, so it's a programming language. And to actually code or script, you need to learn how to code in Lua. And just in case you're wondering, yes, I do have a series called the Zero to Hero series, which I designed and made to essentially take you from a beginner that doesn't know anything about scripting or game development in general and take you all the way up so you can actually script your own game. And on top of this, I have many more tutorials on my channel which help you design different systems such as a health bar or a leveling system. The second category, which is building and 3D modeling, is essentially anything you can see in a world. So let's say you played your favorite game and you have a house. Or maybe um, you have a game which is based around the forest. Someone actually put in the time to make the assets which are in that forest or that house. So the walls or the trees, someone made that. And on the Roblox platform, you have two ways of doing this. So the first way or method is using traditional Roblox building. So you can use a variety of plugins within Roblox Studio and you essentially piece together parts of diff different shapes to make up a an asset. So if you want to make a house, you put blocks and bricks in such a way that it would form a house, just like you would using Lego. And I actually have a tutorial on this, um, which is also targeted for beginners. Um, link will also be in the description below. And this is certainly the easier of the two methods because the second method involves using external software. And the method which requires external software is called 3D modeling. Now you can use a bunch of different software. My favorite one is Blender, it's free. You can download it now if you want and you can start learning how to 3D model. And this gives you way, way, way more flexibility and just a much wider range of things that you can make. I'll bring some on the screen now, but you can't make these things using Roblox Studio. And you certainly can't texture these things. Some of these um, things that I'm showing on screen now have what's called a texture. So you first have the model itself, the asset, which... Um, gives it the shape and then some artists like to texture their models or uh, assets uh, to make them look better like drawing leaves on trees or something like that. And while this might be harder to learn than just using Roblox Studio, it certainly can help you get amazing results. Moving on to the third category which is UI and this one is pretty simple. So have you ever joined a game and you're greeted with this beautiful interface? For example, um, if you played any, any game actually, most of them have what's called a user interface and that's what UI means, user interface. Um, so if you have your favorite game and you need to collect money in that game, chances are there's some sort of indicator on the screen showing you how much money you have. And I'll bring an example on the screen now which shows you an example of such a UI object. Or maybe uh, you have a streak, you've been logging into the same game for maybe 7-8 days and something comes up on the screen and tells you, hey, congrats, you received this gift for logging in 8 or 7 days in a row. That's all UI. 
and UI is essentially one of those components which help lure players in. So if I were to join a game and it has beautiful UI, I would certainly be intrigued enough to play it longer. So having beautiful UI is essential if you want to make a successful game. Now as an extension of this category, we have graphics design. Now this sort of ties in with the next category which is marketing, but essentially graphics design on Roblox handles anything relating to, well, as you might have guessed, graphics. So I'll bring up some examples on the screen now, but essentially graphics on Roblox entail thumbnails for games, icons, ads, and more. And these things play a vital role when it comes to making a successful game. Why? Because if I go on your game's page and it doesn't have a beautiful thumbnail which I'm interested in, I'm probably not going to click. If you have an interesting icon which um, helps distinguish you from other games, you're gonna get more players. So you might realize that this is something which is important. And now to design both uh, UI and graphics, um, let's start just with UI first. You can actually design UI in Roblox Studio. You can have a variety of different combinations of UI, which you can just make using the default Roblox assets, which they provide in Roblox Studio. And in most of my tutorials, I make some sort of UI and you can learn how to make UI just from watching my tutorials. But if you want to step up your game a notch, you can also use external software such as Photoshop or Paint.net. Now, Paint.net is a free option which I started off with, but then I transitioned to Photoshop as I got more advanced. However, be aware that Photoshop is not a free software, so you would have to pay to use it. Moving on to the final category, which is marketing, um, most people overlook this part. They think, yeah, I've just made a game and people will just flock to play my game. No, that's not true. If that were the case, um, most games would be popular, but they're not. Only a select few games are popular. Why? Because they don't have good marketing. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? You need a good game to retain and attract players, but marketing is also important because you can have the best game in the world, but no one will know about it unless you bring them in using marketing. Now, marketing on the platform is usually split up into two categories, ads and sponsoring. And these are both methods to help lure in or attract new players to your game and hopefully retain them using the amazing game you've just made. And something you should keep in mind is that to use both ads and sponsoring uh, for your games, you need Robux to use them because you basically pay Roblox some Robux to promote your game and show it to more players. However, you do not need Robux to market your game. You can always use influencers like YouTubers to promote your game and help gain uh, attention that way. And now as we come to a close to this video, I just wanted to give out some tips which I would have found useful if I was just starting out back, you know, like 10 years ago now. The first tip is don't take on super large projects at first, especially if you're inexperienced. You might be thinking, hey, um, I, I really want to make an amazing game like those AAA titles I play on Steam or any similar platform. And that's all well and good, but be aware that especially if you are inexperienced, it's going to be very difficult to achieve a game of the level you're expecting, right? So I wouldn't just try and make a big MMORPG or I don't know, like if you've ever heard of Skyrim, I wouldn't try to make that as my first game. Why? Because there are so many things which are just so difficult to, to make. And even if you're an experienced developer, piecing all of the different systems together can be a challenge. And I wouldn't recommend any beginner to do that because they're, they're simply just gonna give up. So just start off with simple projects at first and then scale up from there. The second tip is don't ever give up and don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't make it. So when I first started making games, they weren't good at all. Like my scripting was bad, my building was bad, just the design of the game and how it played out was terrible. And some people told me, it's terrible, you know, it's, it's, it's not good, why would I play this, blah blah blah, you know. They told me things like this, but I didn't let that get me down and that's why I am where I am today. 
Because if you take their criticism, right, and you let that bring you down, you're never gonna pursue your dream long enough to see if it'll actually become a reality or not. The third and final tip is to learn from your failure and to realize that it is not the end of the world. I released so many games which failed before I had my first successful game, and that's a normal part of your game development career. And it's also a part of life. And what sets apart winners from losers is the fact that winners get back up. And you, as an aspiring game developer, should know that failure is not the end of the world. Like I said, you need to learn from failure. Okay, I just released this game. I was so excited about it. I thought it was going to work, but it didn't. Why? That is the question that you should be asking yourself so you can get back up on your feet and make an even better game and improve yourself as a game developer. And just as a closing note, I want to wish you good luck on your game development journey. And if you have success, even if you don't have success and, you know, just at least try and pursue your dream, let me know in the comment section down below because I just love to read about what you guys achieve. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, guys, just leave a like and subscribe to let me know that you like this content. And as always, thanks for watching.